Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here. Last time, okay, this is uh, part number nine, I believe, of Let's Play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Blind. Last time, we did some kind of side mission style thing. Been a few days since I've played this. I've mostly been playing Call of Duty 4. And also, this is being recorded on election day, so I really need this to take my mind off that crap, because I really don't want to listen to any more of it, and I'm completely too nervous to listen to it anyway. Okay, so last time it, I know we did some kind of side mission. So what are we going to do this time? It looks like we got a main mission we can do. So we've done side missions the last couple episodes. It looks like is Neptune in good shape. Yep. Sir, so Neptune's in good shape. Series. I think we'll just uh, do a main mission because it's been a while. What is it? Operation Burn Water. Eliminate critical set death fueling station. 75% success probability. Sir, Let's do it. What's the target? Saturn's moon Titan. It's home to a critical SDF fueling station. You'll land a transport outside their patrol perimeter with Marines to scout an LZ for reinforcements. Once those troops are on the surface, you'll take out their main fueling tower. Tower's our aim point. Affirmative. This strike will keep the enemy on the defensive and away from Earth. Captain, I'd be lying if I didn't admit I got the green eye for this one. I'd gear up and join you if I could. Talk that out. Switch is set. Go for drop. Collision alarms up. All right, then. Let's roll. We're headed off to Saturn's moon this time. Titan, I think they said it was called. Uh, Titan is, again, sort of like Europa. I believe it's supposed to be one of the more habitable bodies in the solar system, technically. We fight in the dust. Nine to one, no. Ten percent, yes. Hover on entry. Three, <laughs> two, one. Report. So apparently this ship probably doesn't work perfectly right. I mean, I guess it was kind of damaged, but come on, it seems like it's really not working that well. All right, so, yeah, we're headed off to Titan because you can't actually walk on Saturn. It's actually not possible because it's like a gas planet, a gas giant, sort of like Jupiter is. On board or back home? Both. And yeah, it's being recorded on election day, so I'm literally probably going to be checking my phone consistently during commercials and stuff to see what exactly what's going on. Call me if you would, sir. All right, what do you want me to do? Now your mom water 700 meters. Still be supersonic at 900. No, only if you're full bore. Cap, just getting these ground pounders gunned up for Titan. Buster in five on the flight deck. Sergeant, check. Oh, I'll leave you be. Got some carbines to set up for you. Thanks, Chief. You been down to Titan? What well, have? Yeah. Ops? No. Pops. Dad was a tank farmer. Worked the pipelines for about 30 years. Retired just before the SDF took it over. Let's go give him hell. You bet your ass. This has been a long time coming. How are we executing? Joint operation. You and me. How can't be? Affirmative. Armed recon. Small team. We're invading a denied area. Yeah, civil on and around that reticle is. SecDef didn't ask permission then, and we're not asking permission now. My jacks are already standing by. You just do what you did at the gateway. We'll zip this place right up. Proud to be a service, Sergeant. <laughs> Pride is 100% bona fide bullshit, Raze. You just make sure the mission comes first. Copy that. Sure, the Sergeant is well aware that the word proud is right in the Navy creed. I knew there was something I didn't like about you sons of bitches. That explains the white uniform and the submarines. Submarines? Yeah. Only the Navy could build a ship designed to sink. <laughs> Let's gear up and get evil. Sure thing. Hey, Captain! Yeah. Let's bring Ethan with us. I want him on the team. He'll be glad to hear that. He has enormous respect for the Marines. Uh, so he bloody should. Ethan, you're up. Report to Raven 2. Prime some choice hardware for you, Commander. Headed to Titan, huh? Okay, so they want us sniping, 
with a suppressor, so I'm assuming that means that we're going to be having a stealth mission of some kind here. Uh, I'd rather have something like this, though, as a backup, just probably be a little bit safer. Yeah, I'll run the Karma. That would probably be a little bit safer to do. Put that on, and no suppressor on this thing, so we'll just put an extended mag on. And I'll just leave with whatever else is in the recommended, so... Yeah, I think that's probably good enough. Oh, we have new Jackals available if we really want them. Whatever. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Confirm loadout. Let's go. So apparently this is going to have something to do with stealth because they gave us that uh, suppressed rifle. This should be an interesting mission. Uh, usually you just like warp me right in from this point. Okay, so I guess we actually have to go to the ship because it's an actual story mission. Also, I don't know how many of those, like, uh, cutscenes and stuff you guys might see because I feel like those are what's giving me the copyright notices on these videos. So I may cut some of them out just to be safe. I mean, it's not like a copyright uh, infringement or a strike or anything, but it's still kind of annoying to have all the copyright notices, so... You may see me cutting those out or something. I'd like to know if anyone else is having the same problem. Also, it looks like hundreds of years in the future, we haven't really advanced the forklift very much. So, let's roll. Liberate some lunch. Okay, then, sure. Get our flight suit thing on. Suit up. Boost rig connected. And we've got Ethan coming with us, the robot. Pop a squat, soldier. He really looks reminiscent of some of the robots from uh, Borderlands. He looks sort of with the way the eye is designed. He does kind of look reminiscent of that. Or something from Borderlands. I can't entirely tell what, but definitely reminiscent of something. And we're dropping in. Clear. Hold tight. Here it comes. Hi, guys. Eyes on me. As far as Ethan goes, I will personally vouch for this stiff metal motherfucker. He's one of us. Ethan, what's the Navy's official policy for a gunfight? Send in the Marine. <laughs> 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 okay, that's actually pretty funny. Alright, uh, can we go ahead and hurry this up? I really want to play now, thank you. Not in this just for the story, even though I know I can skip the story. I know that guys might not want to have me skip the story. We only have one pilot. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. Wow, this isn't reminiscent of No Man's Sky at all. And again, No Man's Sky, like, didn't their uh, developer come out on Twitter and say No Man's Sky was a mistake or something, their official Twitter page, because they literally, like, didn't even talk about it for, like, three months after it came out, and then they just come out and give the message like it was a mistake. I think they claimed it was a hacker, but you never know what might be true about that. All right, I assume I'm probably not supposed to go down there, so I'll just follow these guys. And we have our booster. Geez, you would think that I'm a little bit surprised that there's uh, so much gravity here. Maybe uh, Titan is one of the moons that has somewhat of a gravitational field. I don't know, whatever. I guess we, uh, I don't know how much that even matters. I mean, it's not like Call of Duty's known for realism anymore. They haven't been known for realism in a very long time. So it looks like quite a few SDF ships around here. I wonder if we'll end up having to take one of those out or something. That would be kind of cool. Maybe just take the Jackal out and do something toward the end of the mission. Or maybe it's totally boots on the ground. I guess we find out. All right. 
Well, this place looks trashed. I got something. Restricted area. This place was nice once. Said they'd been raided, turned into a labor camp overnight. Well, man, made it hurt. Mm, okay, then. Yeah, I don't think these folks were that lucky. Looking for any armories and such. It is messed up. Yeah, that's quite sad. This place, uh, looks like it could have been decent for a while. So we're gonna boost this thing up and go on through, Ethan. Ethan, you should be the one holding it up. You're a robot. You can't. You probably won't drop it. Probably less likely to drop it than I am. Uh-oh. Crap, one of those things. These guys have secret ones. Stick to the shadows. It is going to be some stealth. All right, then. I'm glad I followed the commands that the uh, game gave me to use something stealthy. Thank you very much. I didn't even know there was an enemy there until I saw the marker thing on screen. Okay, they aren't too smart, apparently. Aren't having too much trouble dodging them so far. Although I did just realize they wanted me to use something stealthy. I probably could have used a stealthy, like, assault rifle or something instead of this thing. Because this might be a little harder to use. Ooh, dead. I don't see anything. Oh, well, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. I probably wasn't supposed to do it quite that way, but that's fine. Uh oh. Yep, I would agree with you on that. And there goes little Ziggy 3.0. Like, I'm pretty sure that all these Call of Duty games are, like, in the same timeline. I really want to make a video about that because it's something I've been thinking about more recently. Like, I really think that there might be an argument that nearly every Call of Duty game is set in the exact same universe with the exception of Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. Perfect. That actually went very well. Because I've seen, like, the possibility of how they could be. There's a lot of similarities between certain parts of the storylines that might connect them. It's probably just kind of crazy, but I think it would be very interesting if maybe they were all connected. And Ethan literally basically blew his face up. Well, his face probably should have, like, disintegrated or something. And we got him. And I have to fire at both of them because I feel like they're going to take too long to shoot him and it's going to, like, get me alerted or something. I just don't want to take that risk. I mean, more stealth is generally better. Uh-oh. Okay, how are we going to take all these guys out? It looked like there were a lot of them. Keep going. You don't see me, Ziggy. I think we're okay. They're gone. Almost. Just keep on going that way, SDF. Just keep on going. Okay, so I see one guy up here. But is he the only one? I just kind of want to listen to these guys and see if they have another aura for me, but it doesn't look like they do, so... We're going to take him down. Okay, I think I made the right choice there. Okay, good. I'm glad there wasn't another enemy. Reload. And we're just going to go above. We're just going to go over it instead. All right, then. So, what's next? About four guys up on the right. Somehow... They literally didn't see us there. You are? Well, they're all dead, but all right then. That didn't seem like maybe the best idea. I feel like we probably could have just gone around that way. Wait, really? Did we get... How did we get alerted there? Oh, that's not good. How did we get alerted, though? I thought we did that perfectly. I guess that it didn't want to hit kill him. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to do a little bit of real fighting then. God, I almost got through that perfectly stealthily. I can't believe I messed that up on, like, probably the last shot. I mean, seriously, though, I thought I did fine. I guess 
I probably just shot one of them in the leg instead of hitting him in the chest where it would have killed him. Transition to assault rifle mode. Well, uh, okay. Uh, just let that grenade go off. Oh, cool. So it's like it's a directed energy weapon. I can't tell if it's suppressed still, though. It might be. It probably is. I would assume that it is. It would be kind of dumb if it wasn't. God, that's, that's a lot of enemies if you mess up. All right, so we killed a sniper. Uh, I think I have a shot grenade, maybe. And let's see if I can get another kill in this mode. There you are. Got him. Now you poke your head out and I will kill you as well. Don't worry, it'll be quick and painless because I'm... Well, maybe it won't be quick and painless if I miss like that. How many more of them are there? Shouldn't be too many more of them. Maybe just a few more of them. Jeez. Where are they coming from? Huh? Whoa. What the? Huh? Huh? It like... What? It like warped us to a whole other area of the level. Like... What? Like... Wait, what? We're good. Did it? Oh, wait, no, it didn't. It just, it was a checkpoint. God, I literally thought it, like, warped us to another part of the level because I didn't recognize where I was there. That was weird. All right, then. I guess it wasn't really weird now that I realize exactly what happened. It was my fault entirely for not doing that stealthily enough. This time I know, and I won't let it happen again. All right, so let them go by. We're going to let them keep going for a moment. Just want to be very careful here. And now we're going to take this guy out. Perfect. Okay, hopefully this time I don't screw up like that again because that was pretty dumb. So pretty much in a lot of these sections, if you don't do them stealthily, you're probably going to die. There's so many enemies in some of these areas. Okay, so this time I know, make sure I shoot toward the head. Still using these suppressed weapons, just want to be fairly careful. Do it. Do it. Alright, we got it that time, perfect. No problem whatsoever that time. Okay, so we got them down... Uh, what is that? Just computer monitors, nothing else special here. Give me a hand. And a door. A on it. And what are we going to have beyond this door? Anything? Oops, Anything at all? Pushing through. We're moving in. Copy, okay, it doesn't look like much, just another hallway. That was weird. He, he like jumped over just a little thing. All right, guys, I think that's probably a pretty good stopping point for this video. We're running on like 19 minutes, so I think that's a good stopping point. Next time, we will continue on this mission. See you guys then.